Listen, I did this video. It went crazy viral, almost 800,000 views. I simply said, broke men moving with women. I stand on that to the day that I die. But I want to say this. You name one man that has the resources, right, to provide, this is the key word, to provide a better life for a woman, but yet he decides to pack down or pack up his life and his house and move in with her. Please tell me. All of the men that have means financially, where does that make sense? I can provide a better life for you than what you're providing for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up my life, pack up my house and move in with you. It does not broke men moving with women. And every man that says I ain't broke, you're making a big excuse because this is what I like to tell women. A man that moves in with you, he isn't in love. You just a better option. Man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Hello, family. I want to welcome you to AOS the podcast. I'm your host, Mr. AOS Inspires. This is what I need you to do. We're on every single platform, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I need you to go and subscribe and follow us right now. We drop content every single day day that'll help you with your life because our mission here at AOS the podcast is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time one interview at a time one video at a time to help you live life at the next level I want you to live life on the next level I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's watching this episode this is going to be a dynamic episode I need you to dive in do me a big favor I need you to like share and comment. Don't be a stranger. I like comment with us. And this is what I need you also to do. I need you to copy this link right here on this podcast, this episode, and share it with at least 10 of your friends. I promise you it's going to help them out. Let's jump into the episode. What's Let going go. on family? You guys are so amazing. Let's go ahead and jump into another crazy episode. Listen, um, I, I did a, I did a post, right? You already know, you know, what, what I like to do is I like to have like edgy videos, edgy topics that will not just necessarily go viral, but I, I want to get the conversation going. I want to get men thinking outside of the norm right now. I made this post, uh, it went crazy. Uh, I told, I, I said this broke man. And this is like the second podcast separate ep second episode that i'm really addressing this this issue because it's still going like the last time i talked to you i think it was like three hundred and forty four thousand views it said like seven hundred and fifty thousand views now i really believe that in the next few ticks it's going to hit a million i really do believe that but and it's crazy because I'm getting crazy followers on TikTok. Go, matter of fact, go to TikTok right now. Type in AOS the podcast. It'll pop right on up. It's the second video that I have uh, pinned at the top. And I mean, it's bananas. Like the engage, I'm getting like almost 100 followers a day just from that one video. But uh, all I said was this. I said broke men. And I stand on this. I said broke men moving with women. And what I'm noticing in the con comments is that a lot of men was like, hey, I had my own place. I decided to move in with her because uh, it was easier. But what, what, what I'm trying to unpack from you, right? That, that That's just an excuse, right? That's just that part right there where men say that, that's just an excuse. However, I have other men that say, hey, I moved in with a woman. We worked together. I had I had a guy comment this on Instagram today. He was like, yo, we we moved in. I moved in with her. Uh, we built together. And now two years later, we built, we got a house together. He said, dream work makes the team, teamwork makes the dream work. I get it. But when you moved in, bro, guess what? It's no shade. You were broke. What I'm saying is, and what I've been trying to unpack for you guys, for everybody, is that the mindset of a broke man is looking for stability. Like, And it's crazy because you can be broke and still be able to pay the bills. Let's, let's really keep it funky. Like, I can come to your house and pay all of the bills and I'm still What's going on, family. I know that you're enjoying the episode, but I had to pause to ask you a quick question. Have you ever been through anything in life that was so life altering that it changed your life forever? I mean, have you ever been and had a job and you lost that job? I mean, your dream job, you lost that job for whatever reason. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, you started a business and the business started off great. And then it seemed as if it was going downhill. And now you're at a place, you lost your marriage, you lost your children, you lost some major things in your life. And now you're at a place in life where you're like, hey, 
this is the end of the road. I, I'm like, I don't see it getting better. I got news for you. It will get better. And I wrote a book just for you. It's entitled Winning After a Major Loss. You need to go and get your copy. Go to barnesandnoble.com. Go to amazon.com. Get your copy right now. Winning After after a major loss. I promise you, it's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change your mindset. Most importantly, it's going to change your heart about your situation because I promise you, you can win after a major loss. Go get your copy now. Barnes and Nobles, amazon.com. Order your copy now. Let's get back to that. The reason I say that is because a man with financial stability, I'm talking about like real paper. I ain't now, now let's 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 quantify this thing. I'm not talking about a guy that has millions. Now I'm not talking about him because he's gonna have a different mindset as well. But I'm talking about that guy that makes a couple hundred thousand, or that guy that makes a hundred thousand, but he don't have no kids. He don't have no liabilities. Like, like he 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 good, he's living good, right? Those type of men are going to think differently. Why? Because anybody that has something to lose, this is the key word, anybody that has something to lose never puts places themselves in a position where they can be escorted out or kicked out or invited out or blocked out. None of that, none of the above. A man that, ha- even a woman, a woman that has money would never put herself in a situation where she's like, listen, I'm going to pack up my house and I'm going to move in with you. Even broke women. I say that all the time. A broke woman, only broke women move in with men. Period. Unless you have a situation. Now, I'm going to tell you this, and it's not even unless. If you have a situation where the man has a lot of money and the woman has a lot of money and they want to move in together, what they may do, they'll do one or two things. Either one will stay over the other person's house a lot and vice versa. They will move. They won't move. They will live or stay at each other's house a lot. Or what they would do is they would pack up both of their houses, sell them or rent them out, put them on Airbnb or whatever, and they would get a house together in both of their names. That's what happens with people that have money, period. And even if you don't want to talk about uh, he's rich or she's rich, a person that's not broke, a man or a woman that's not broke is going to move differently. I tell this all the time because men that don't have money are the quickest people, the quickest species to even women are the quickest species to fall in love quicker. This is what I'm talking about. A man that moves in with a woman, ladies, he's not in love. You're just a better option. That's just what it is. Let's let's listen. Let's call a spade a spade. A man that's quickly, right? Let's catch this out. A man that's moving in with a woman or a man that's quickly to move in with a woman, it's not that he's in love, ladies. I'm not saying that it's like this all the time. Now, you could have a scenario where you have a broke man. Let's let's chop this thing down. You can have a scenario where you have a broke man, but he's really crazy in love with you, right? And he's trying to get his stuff together. And I, 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 I say this time and time again. I'm going to say it again. I don't believe, I just don't believe that um, you should be dating if you're broke. The reason I say that, because if you look at the whole scope of things, men are required. Men are required. I'm going to say this loud and proud, and I will stand on it. Men are required to take care of the house. Right. Men are required. Now, the modern day men, they think a little different. Modern day men, they come to your house, the house dirty. They're not going to say, oh, you got a nasty wife. They're going to say, what are y'all doing? But a man that thinks in this perspective that the man should take care of the house, this is how he's going to look at it. If he comes to your house and your house is nasty and you're married or you have a really you're in a relationship with a woman, he's going to say, hold on, bro, she don't clean up because of the and it's not necessarily gender roles, but. I'm I'm, going to address this too. It kills me when people say, oh, uh, I don't like the sexism or gender roles. Men can do what women do. Women can do what men do. I understand as we have progressed in life. I get it. I understand. However, many women that claim that, you know, about gender roles, that they ain't no such thing as gender roles. You know, everybody wash the dishes. Everybody take out dishes. I mean, clothes. Everybody, stuff like that, right? But, there, it's in sketched in us that a man is supposed to do certain things in relationships, right? So what I'm saying is you can't pick and choose like, nah, that's a man thing. Nah, that's a woman thing. No, that's an equal thing. No, no, you can't pick and choose because when a woman goes out in the dark, goes to her car in the dark, guess what? She may not say it. She may try to be prideful and ego, but at the end of the day, she wants a man to walk her out 
or uh, somebody else. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this because you know some of y'all are just not gonna agree with me. They want somebody to walk them out to make sure they're safe. And usually it's a man, right? Usually it's a man to walk her out to make sure that she gets to her car safely. Period. Why do you think? majority of or big percentage of burglaries that you know when they break into your car and steal your car is generally an older woman or a woman or a weak man right most times they do not break into or i'm not saying it doesn't happen but most times they do not uh, uh, rob you know when i say rob i'm talking about the cars Still a purse jack, car jack. That's what I'm looking for. New Jack City. They don't normally hijack, car jack a man. They normally go for the woman or they go for a weak link. That's what I'm saying. Whether man or woman, they go for a weak link, right? But it kills me because many people would say, hey, no, that's a man's job. No, that's a woman's job. No, it's equal. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I believe, this is what I believe, so you can get my perspective. I believe that you have Melrose and women roles, right? My wife caught attitude uh, last week. She was like, I got to take out the trash. And it's because I had left the house and I, I didn't get the opportunity to be, we had so much going on. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to, she was joking. She wasn't really mad, but she was joking. I got to take out the trash again. Now in my house, we believe in gender roles, you know, whether you want to call it sexist, whatever I pay, you know, I put, I put the resources up. She puts money up too. However, we understand this. I put majority of the money up and she makes sure the house is clean. She makes sure to cook. I cook as well. However, we understand and identify our roles, our roles, and we have no problem with it. Daddy going to come home with the check. Mama going to make the house a home. That's just how, that's how we roll at my house, right? You may operate your house differently. However, ladies, I want to share with you a big red flag, major red flag, a man that wants to move in or, or even is having conversation about moving in with you. That's a red flag flag on the plate. Like get him out of here. He's not in love. He, you just, you, you're just the better choice. You're just a better option. I will stand on this and debate this until the 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 this topic stops. I will never stop, right? Because the biggest thing about this is I want to share this and I'm gone. The biggest thing about this is your mindset when you have money, your mindset is different. You look at things differently. You make decisions differently. A person that has money will make a decision totally different from a person that has no money, right? Especially when it comes up to opportunities. Look at this, look what I'm saying. When it comes up to an opportunity, right, for a man that's broke, that's paying, let's say, $2,500 a month for his rent. Like he really can't afford it, but he can afford it, right? He can pay it, but he really can't afford it. Some things go lacking in the course of a month, right? So once he see an opportunity, a broke man does, once he see an opportunity to move in with the woman, his lease is up, he can shut down shop. Now, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my 25. Many of y'all are going to say, oh, that's a smart thing. You're a broke man. He would take his 25, go over here and pay all the bills, and live comfortably. Wow, her her rent only a thousand dollars. So watch this. Yes, he can pay all the bills and live comfortably, right? I mean, you know, everything else won't be crazy high unless she got kids. Now that's a different topic. Now that's a different conversation. But in my opinion, the way that I view it, you are a broke man to decide to move in with a woman. Now you're saying, listen. Bruh, bruh, bruh. It's rough out here financially. Cool. This is what you do. You find out a way to make more money. Period. I don't believe, and this could be another topic. I'm going to do this topic with a real entrepreneur, right? I just don't believe in getting a second job because now you're, you're trading even more of your time for money, which never pans out because a job does not pay you what you're worth. And I'm not just saying those that are not getting paid much money, but you know this as well as I know this. A job does not pay you. A job cannot afford to pay a person what they are worth and make a profit. What they do is they normally pay you and they normally make a decent company, normally makes three to four times more from your services or from your, your, your presence than what they're paying you. That's just how jobs operate. You know, so uh, I, I just say this, do the research, find out how you can make more money, find out how you can increase your network. 
Get around. I'm going to tell you this and I'm done. The main reason why there's going to be a lot of men that say, I don't see nothing wrong with moving in with women. Hey, uh, I'm helping her out. She helping me out. You know, woo, woo, you broke. So what I want to suggest, you need to get around some real men that get to the bag. And if you can't get around some real men that get to the bag, go on Instagram, go on YouTube, like see people from afar, let them be your mentor from afar, people that really get money and start investing into yourself, start buying courses, start buying things so that you can increase your knowledge, increase your net worth and increase your network. Because as long as you keep on thinking broke, guess what? That's what you're going to produce. Only broke men move in with women. And sis, I'm closing on this. If he's in love, right? He claims he in love and he's so quick and so fast to move in. Baby, I want to tell you, he ain't in love. You just a better option. He ain't got nowhere to go. What's going on, family? I want to say thank you for rocking with us during this episode. We have been so excited to drop this episode. I'm glad that you made it to the end. This is what I want you to do. If you have any takeaways from this episode, leave it in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear how you feel. I want to bring content to you that's relevant to you, that'll help you change your life because you already know our mission here at AOS Inspires, AOS the podcast, is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. This is what I need you to do. I need you to like, subscribe, share, share this episode. If it spoke to your life, share this episode with somebody. Why? Because you are connected to some people that we're not connected with. And with that connection together, we can empower the world to never give up. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. I can't wait to see you next week. Just in case you didn't know, we drop every single week, three times a week, Mondays, 8 a.m., Wednesdays, 8 a.m., and Fridays, 8 a.m. You need to catch an episode. Matter of fact, catch all three episodes. It's going to be fire. I promise you it's going to help you doing your everyday life. It's going to help you get to the next level. Let's